How's it going guys? Butters Bridge here and welcome to another episode of my Bronze to Riches. Um, sorry it's been so long once again. I'm just really busy uh, at work in university at the moment and with my up and coming stag do which is this weekend. Um, but before I've I'm going I've decided to record a Bronze to Riches for you. Um, it's actually a really good time to record because there is a Paddy Days tournament coming tomorrow so Irish players are at a premium. So that's what we're going to be looking for today in these packs as well. I'm going to save any Irish player I get, non-rare, rare, they're all going to be saved and put up on the market as well to hopefully make a bit more profit. So from the last episode, we made, what, around just over 4k profit, I think it is. Um, we struggled on players. I actually only sold three, uh, and they all went for 150 coins. That guy went for 150. This guy went for 150, and that guy went for 150 as well. I've got one contract left, but luckily, due to the squad fitnesses and some of the better um, fitness cards I got, we have still made a really decent profit from the last episode. So, here we go. We are going to start this next episode. Hopefully, we can pull something big. There is actually a really good inform centre-back um, in the MLS, in packs as well, who's worth over 200k, I think. So, that'd be something nice to pull as well. But here's pack number one anyway, 750 coins. Here we go. And we have got Kangmin Su, was that? It was something like that. He's 67 pace, he's pretty good. Uh, and we have got our first Irish player. So we'll be saving, I say, all these Irish players. I think they're going for something like 500 coins at the moment, been any, even the non rares so that's really good to get. Plus we've got a couple of contracts there. And... I'm not sure if the kits are worth anything, the Irish ones. I'm, I'm not going to even bother with that. Yeah, I'm just going to look for the players this week. Anyway, good start. Let's see what pack number two can bring us. Tico is the name. Tico, is he any good? Nope, but we have got two more uh, Irish players. That's really good. That could be like a K, that. If these prices hold like they are doing at the moment, I am intending to sell things as soon as... Uh, I've got them. I'm actually going to start saving this badge now, the silvers, because last episode apparently I missed out on like 2k on one of the badges which was there. Didn't realise it was worth much, but I'm going to start saving the silver ones now just because they are a bit rarer. Not many people open silver packs compared to bronzes and golds. Here we go with pack number three anyway. And we've got Thompson. Is he any good? I think he's an English bronze. And he's got 74 pace. So we'll be saving him. And we're also going to save this contract and the rare manager contract and that's our first probably poor pack of the episode but we've had two really good ones so we can't really grumble you often get poor ones uh, but as long as we keep the averages as being good ones I shall be quite happy anyway here's the next pack and we have got Al Amer he's actually a decent 86 pace he's only 4 star weak foot which isn't too bad we'll be saving him and we've got a couple more contracts to add which is nice. And we'll just... Dis in fact, no, we've got Akpan. I didn't notice him. we we'll save him as well with him being uh, a Premier League player. Um, Premier League bronzes tend to get a few coins as well, so I'm going to start saving them as well to hopefully push our coin balance up even higher. Anyway, here's the next pack, and we've got Rudnevs. Was that... If that's the rare silver striker. Wow! That is a really good pull. 4 one 2 one 2 Wow! This guy is actually really good. Um, I've got him on one of my other accounts. I've built an MLS, uh, sorry, a Bundesliga strike strikers team. I'm sure he's worth like 10k. He's got really good balanced stats: 90, the 79 pace, 72 shooting, and 78 heading. So that's an absolutely brilliant pull. Um, he's going to be worth something. I tell you that now. That's going to give us a massive coin coin boost. We're definitely going to be over 400k by the next episode with that. Plus, we have got a couple of contracts to add, and we'll discard what's left. So there we go. We finally hit, another, hit big again with another player. Let's see if we can get anything more. Because we've got loads of packs left yet to open. Nardin. Is he any good? He looks like he's rare. And he's an 81 paced right mid in Serie B. That's not too bad. We've got another Irish player. Which is always good. I'm not going to bother with the coaches. I don't think they're going to be going for much. Um, so I'm just going to go for the players. I don't want to be too greedy anyway. But onwards we go. Let's open another bronze pack. Let's see if we can get something good out of this one. And we have got Lockhead. Lockhead, is he any good? He doesn't look to be that good, but we've got another. I'm sure I've had him before. It's a Chelsea centre-back. Should be worth a couple of uh, hundred coins. On these contracts as well. 
and we'll discard what's left and move on to another pack let's see if we can continue our incredible luck from this episode Favre I recognise that name for some reason oh, he's not the one I'm thinking of um, he's a goalkeeper and I don't think any of them are going to be worth much but we'll take these contracts and another player fitness which is lovely uh, we'll discard all what's left and move straight on to more packs as we've got plenty of space still um, I'm still kind of shot with the Rudnavs, that's the first time in ages since I've pulled a really good player so I am absolutely ecstatic from that wow <laughs> now that's an even better pull um, considering the timing, Cohen 89 pace, Irish striker he must be worth a bit uh, with the Paddy's tournament coming up We've got another player, and we've got loads of contracts in this pack. Look at the consumables in here. Four contracts. We have got a player fitness. And we've got a healing card. Wow, that could be a good few K just out of that pack. This is really good. If we can keep things like this in the second half of the pack opening, uh, we should be on for some great profits. We should be well in the 400K mark. <laughs> I didn't even see what that name said then. It was pretty long. Um and I'm not even interested in him to be honest um, we're just going to take these two contracts out of this pack it's a pretty poor one but as you say the last pack was brilliant so I can't really complain let's push on and see how we can do now and this next one is was that Farax or something is he the Austrian guy it is it's the Austrian right mid 4-1-2-1-2 he might be worth a bit um, I think Austrian players are there's somebody's built an Austrian team, I'm sure, and they've they've linked it to me before, and I'm sure he was one of the players in it. So hopefully, maybe found the coins, maybe a little bit more. That'd be lovely. We've also got a free pack. It's been a while since we've had one of them. Um, I'll open that at the end. I'll try and leave so there's a bit of space left as well before I open it. But anyway, onwards with another 750 pack, and we have got Nushi. Was that? I think there's an eye on the end. It is Nushi. He's not interested, but we're going to take Lynch. Um, as he's Irish, and we're going to take these contracts and this rare contract, and we are going to get rid of all that and move on to a, another 750 coin pack. Let's see how we do with this one. Kas Kashi Muller, something like that was that. It's the long names which I struggle to to see. It is Kas Mulner. But we're not interested in, but what we are interested in, another squad fitness. The first one of this episode, but continuing on from last episode. That's a really good pull. I think we got like 2 odd k from last time, with it coming up to the weekend. Um, so that was really good to get another one of them. Again, it's looking like an excellent uh, episode, this, with all the good players that have been pulled. And we have got Kiki Lopez. He looks decent stats as well. Um, hopefully 500 coins for him. We've got another contract, another player fitness, another all attributes, and we're just going to discard what is left and open probably one more pack of these, maybe two. We'll see how many consumables we get in this one. And then we've got our free pack. Kurz is the next guy. He is a rare CDM. Looks half decent stats, not that much pace though, so I don't think it'd be worth that much, but you never know. We're going to take these consumables, uh, and these contracts, sorry, and the fitness card, and we shall discard what's left and do one more pack actually of this, and we'll do our free pack. So this is the last paid pack, for 750 coin pack. Can we end with a big flourish? And we've got Lewis. Is he rare? He looks like he's rare. And he is a striker uh, for South Africa don't think he's worth that much but you never know but we are going to take these two contracts and we're going to discard what's left from this pack but we are going to now go and open the free pack what we've just got and see what this gives us Enkelman is the player don't think he's rare chances of getting a rare is pretty low in that anyway but we've got Logan who's an Irish goalkeeper again could be worth 500 coins if prices stay as they are and two more contracts and we end with an all attributes so wow what an episode I must admit I wasn't expecting something that good um, at this time I was happy with just getting Irish players because I say you're going to make a bit more profit 
uh, on average by getting them. But the fact we've got a rare silver as well and one who I know is worth a decent amount of coins and is a really good player is even better. So well, let's have a look. There he is, Rudnevs, with his five-star weak foot. Um, definitely going to be worth a bit. Uh, Nardini, possibly. Farkas, I think, might be worth a bit. 4 one 2 one 2 Kiki Lopez, again. English bronzes always tend to go for a few coins, so that might be good. Alamer, 86 pace. Again, should be good. Cohen should be the best out of the bronzes there by far. Uh, and we've got all these Irish players, plus a couple of uh, Premier League ones with Nankumu and Akpan. So really good on the player front. Um, don't think I sold anyth sent anything to the trade pal from this episode. We'll just have a look. Oh, did I? We sent, oh no, we sent that badge because um, I wasn't sure if it was worth anything or not. So I'll list it up at some point or search to see if it's worth anything and, and list it anyway accordingly. And last but not least, we're going to go and have a look at the consumables, for which I know we've got a lovely squad fitness again, which are always nice. But three all attributes, one heal all, a squad fitness. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, player fitnesses, which is like, what, 2.1k straight away. Loads of. Non, uh, sorry, rare contracts, and we end with the non-rare contracts. So there we go. Should should be on really good profits from this. We should all be over 410k. I'm open uh, by the start of the next episode. Hopefully a little bit more, but you never know. Depending on prices on the market and the time of the day, it all affects how we do. Um, but it has been an excellent episode, I must admit. First for a while. Um, please like. Uh, and subscribe to my channel if you do like these episodes check out all the past ones there are some good ones there are some boring ones as well in there but just those to show that i record everything and just to show if i do get something good and if i sometimes you do get bad luck uh, but until next time guys i have been butters bridge and i shall catch you guys later